Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to use the run command as part of the COCOS console. So, what we're going to do is open up a text editor. This isn't something that you need to do. We're just going to create some nodes and we're going to put them on our education platform and put a link in the video's description so you can, well, basically check it all out instead of remembering it off by heart. So the first thing we're going to do is put dash platform dash is the platform you will understand what all this stuff means when I actually start showing you some examples of commands that you can run so web android win32 the next one is dash m and this is the mode that you can run your application in so debug or release generally you'll be using debug if you're just testing and you'll be using release if you're publishing it to an app store for example this is optional and if you do omit this the mode is set to debug it's as simple as that so just bear that in mind it isn't necessary but it will set it to debug automatically the other parameter is dash s and this is the project directory this can be omitted as it is optional if you cd to the project directory first before actually doing any commands so here are some example commands that you can basically run you can do cocos run dash f and this would be the project directory which is mine is right here so for that would be users for slash sonar systems for slash desktop for slash game one try and make sure there are no spaces in the path cocos generally doesn't like spaces so try not to put any spaces in there, in there. And then after that, you put dash p, so the platform, so Mac, for example. And then after that, you do dash m, release, or debug. And that is an example command. Another example command is cocos run dash p, Mac, dash m, release. And this one right here is used when you've already changed directory in terminal or command prompt depending on what OS you're on it's all the same to your project directory therefore you can just emit the well the game project directory per argument right here there's also another one that you can use which is called quiet and quiet basically reduces the output to the console uh, I'm not a particular fan of doing some something like this simply because I want to see all the output that's going in there but for whatever reason you, you may not and actually just be easy for just copy and paste it and then you can run the exact same commands that you would without the quiet argument and the only thing that you have to actually do to run it with the quiet argument is put dash q and dash q it's that simple and like i said i'm just going to save it on my desktop i'm just going to put run commands.txt this will be on sonarlearning.co.uk as a solution we will post a link in the description to that solution as well so what we're going to do is actually demonstrate this one right here so what we're going to do is terminal chain directory to our project directory and again as we cd to our project we just need to run this so cocos run dash p mac dash m release and let that run and as you can see first it actually compiles your project and then it actually runs it so that's something to bear in mind what i'm going to do in Oh, actually, I was going to say I was going to trim off this part of the video because it might take a while to compile, but because I've compiled before, it was quick. So there you go. That's how you run your project. There are actually a few more run commands that you can use, and the other run commands are useful if you're developing for a web browser. Let's show you those right here. So web browser commands only. Actually, I think I'll just put it like this. 
copy and paste this right here and what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this oopsie daisy and the only difference is we get rid of release we don't need this we chain we get rid of the dash m as well because we're no longer setting a mode we chain the p to web which we've demonstrated right here but like I was saying there is some extra stuff that you can add and which is the dash b argument so dash b basically allows you to specify how you want to run it aka what sort of browser do you want to use and what we're going to do so for example it will be applications forward slash google forward slash chrome dot app something like that for example would get the chrome app on macro and i believe it's like this but the dash b argument is just the path to your web browser that's all it is so i'm just going to copy and paste this for this one right here so that's how you use the run command in the cocos console if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk you can actually just post them on the solution that we will post with all these commands in there or create your own question it's up to you and we will help answer that question and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day